Pentacles, this is your reading, your weekly reading for April. April. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Let's see what messages here for you, what is going on for you guys here this week. Hope all of you guys are doing well, taking care of yourself, creating your own happiness here, Virgo. Spirit, what message do you have here for Virgo? Okay, surrender your ego and surrender stress as much as you can, most definitely. So they're wanting you to um, cultivate gratitude, but also surrender to stress here. Surrender stress, that's what you have coming in. Your card is saying take a few deep breaths and ex exhale the bullshit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's not what it says. Exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Do some breathing techniques. Definitely. Yoga will definitely help you with that. Or just if you're at your desk, do some deep breathing techniques here to help your heart as well. Um, your high, I was going to say high blood pressure. Do some of you guys have high blood pressure out there or an elevated blood pressure? Okay. Deep breathing techniques will help you with that as well. Okay. <clears throat> You also have surrender your ego coming in, Virgo. Cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals here. Okay, if that is your energy here, they're wanting you to cultivate gratitude and be of service to others, which I know you guys are. But some of you guys, I said, I think I said this in your last reading here that some of you you're tired of being taken advantage of here. Okay, and that may uh, require you guys to put up some healthy boundaries here this week in order to reduce the stress in your life so take some deep breaths in and then exhale and say no okay <laughs> to anything that is stressing you out okay a situation a person there's nothing wrong with taking a healthy break for yourself here okay let's go in here let's see what is going on for you We're going to be taking a look at past energy here, the recent past, present energy, future energy, and get a message from spirit here. It's your past, present, future, Ooh. and message from spirit here. Look at that. Very nice. Okay. Some of you guys may have experienced some standstills here in your life in the past energy. You've been trying to move past uh, difficult situations or move into a more stable energy in your life. Okay, Whether that is mentally or physically, you're trying to get to a, sp a state of stability here. And spirit is definitely letting you know that you're on the right direction by cultivating peace um in your life here okay by using that word no when you need to there's nothing wrong with using that word no i cannot help you no i cannot do that no i cannot extend myself no i'm not comfortable with that there is this need for you guys to put up healthy boundaries here okay now feel in some way you have with the six of air um and possibly the four of water here as well some of you guys may feel like you've missed out on opportunities but you also feel like you are moving in another direction here that's going to make you happier here okay i'm feeling like some of you guys uh <clears throat> you're looking back at situations here or or uh, opportunities that you may have passed over and you're seeing that it may not have been for you um, after all. That's what I'm feeling with the Six of Swords that's showing up here. Okay, Some of you guys uh, may have turned down some jobs or turned down a relationship or turned down a person or turned down an offer in some way here. But spirit is saying that um there's a reason why you were feeling like you needed to turn something down here and don't look back at these at these things that you have turned your back on here and long for them continue to move forward that's what i feel like they're saying with the six of swords coming in the end of a difficult situation here okay and you moving into a more stable place in your life okay your focus here this week i feel virgo is just making decisions 
decisions that will make you happy with the people that you love. Focus on your intimate relationships. Carefully weigh out your decisions and focus on your good health, spiritual health, mental health, okay? Physical health here. That's what I feel like they're wanting you to do. And like I said, that word, I, I don't know why they have this in, your, in my head so much that you need to say no to things that you don't feel comfortable with and continue to move in that energy. You have done this here in the past, I feel. Okay. But some of you guys still wonder what could have happened if you said yes. Okay. Well, I definitely feel like with the six of air, you're moving in the right direction. Like I said here, okay. Uh, with the king of source that's coming in, spirit is wanting you to continue to speak your mind with confidence here and balance your mental and emotional considerations here in all of the relationships that you have, whether that is romantic, intimate, or professional here, okay. Because in the future energy, I definitely feel like you're stepping into a new energy here, things that may have felt very standstill or temporary uh, standstills in your life. I feel like new opportunities will move in uh, with the Ace of uh, Wands and the Hangman that is showing up for you here, okay? So Spirit is wanting you to know that new opportunities, like you guys may have felt like you missed a, a past opportunity. Well, it, it was possibly because it that opportunity wasn't meant for you or there was something better that the universe had for you. This could have a lot to do with career advancements or even a new relationship, fiery one. <laughs> Some of you guys are dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Virgo, but it's going to be a, a new and exciting opportunity that is coming in for you. An awakening here to your soul here and to new possibilities here in your life. Spirit is wanting you to look at things from a different perspective and open yourself up to these new opportunities and consider changing your life um, as you continue to move forward here. Okay, Your uh, message from Spirit is letting me know that things are becoming or will become more balanced, fruitful, and uh, you're going to enjoy a lot of uh, things that's coming up for you guys here. I feel um, as we step into May and go through the summer months here that you guys will definitely feel better about your life and know that you made the right decisions here, okay? Some of you guys were wondering when your time was coming. And I feel like with the temperance card, this balance card, Spirit is saying that this is the perfect time for things to really uh, expand in your life and grow in your life here. I'm, I'm feeling that energy mainly because of the sun. What happens when the sun comes? Okay. Things start to grow. Spring, spring, come, well, the sun is always around. <laughs> okay. But I feel like definitely this is like spring going into summer. Okay, spring going into summer and things are starting to blossom and grow and you see all of the uh, beautiful flowers and birds and trees and, and things start to uh, come back to life. And I feel like this is your energy here, Virgo, that things are starting, starting, okay, to come back to life here. There was a possible standstill here um, in the past energy. Um... And some of you guys may still feel this way in the future energy. But I want you to keep a positive mindset because what you don't see are these uh, exciting new changes that's happening here in your life. The things that are coming towards you, okay, that you're going to be very happy about uh, it, the, how your life is going, okay, and the way that your life is going, okay, right Right at this time, as you're watching this reading, Spirit is wanting you to have confidence in yourself and trust the process. That's what I'm feeling, that things are going to improve and move in the right direction for you, okay? Uh, and you've been waiting for the perfect timing to do some things in your life here. And I definitely feel like Spirit is saying, this is your time. Prepare yourself, okay? Because as we move into May, I feel like this future energy, the, the near future is around May here, you're going to start um doors will start to open up for you here okay that's what i'm definitely feeling for you with the ace of wands that is showing up your message here is uh to remember that it's important to be yourself and i was going to say not to compromise your happiness here virgo okay why that no word is so important for you. 
let's see what your final message is here. The final message. Thank you, spirit. Here we go. Oh, okay. So you guys have 44. I told you things are coming in to balance for you here. They're talking about stability with the number 44, but they're also talking about your ancestors connecting with you. You see the owl, you see the crone here uh, that is coming in. You have ancient wisdom or you have wisdom from your ancestors that you guys may be tapping into as we uh, continue to move forward throughout this year. You're going to be tapping into this um your ancestors energy here okay uh your card visions of life beyond death here okay they're saying that this is a sacred terrain beyond logic and convention and that which is limited in any way the more open you are to receiving true vision, the more love you will feel and recognize within and around you. Something may appear to change form, to be shed, to be lost, or to die, but there is love within it always. This realization doesn't remove the pain of the loss. It does provide a way through which it can be healed and eventually transformed into peace. The vision of love, the truth of it, of it uh, of all that is can come or can move us um, more than anything else possibly can okay you can um, I feel like you guys have been wondering about a lot of things in life <laughs> for some reason I'm just picking up that energy you have been wondering about your life path and whether you guys should take action on a project or take action you should, okay? Ace of Fire here as we move into May. You guys may get communication coming in about a new opportunity in work or a relationship, a romantic one, okay? Or there may be some union, a uh, deeper level of commitment with a lover here. Some of you guys are with a, a Gemini or a fire sign, like I said. doesn't have to be. They can have this anywhere in their chart. But I definitely feel like there's something new happening in your relationships here that will be very promising, uh, that will be... It's, it may be something that you guys have been waiting for here, okay? But Spirit is saying that this is the perfect time, okay, for things to come into balance for you, okay? So they're saying that you're, you're going to be able to see things differently. And I feel like this is because your ancestors are connecting with you more. Any confusion, Virgo, or uncertainty you have felt is going to pass and you will be left with clear insight. The stories you have been feeling, feeding yourself or telling yourself may end up looking different to how they appear now. This may surprise you. But the vision that is coming to you will be more truthful and therefore freeing. It will be worth the shock, surprise, or the moment of embarrassment when you realize you have been operating under a false assurance or deluding yourself about the truth of a situation here. So something's better for you. Something better is coming in for you here, okay? And it's all starting for you guys this week. Okay, those moments will pass you feeling um, the sense of delusions or um, you're freeing yourself from uh, delusions. That's what I feel like they're saying here. Okay, those moments will pass and they are not something to feel bad about. They signify that you are leaving behind a smaller view for a more expansive one. And that's why you have the awakening card here, okay? You are supposed to be focusing, okay, uh, this week and as you move into May into something new. That's why you have the hangman coming in saying that you're going to have this awakening. And you need to look at your life from a different perspective, okay? And these new opportunities here. You really haven't lost anything if anything, you're stepping into a moment that is going to grow for you, okay? And they're just reminding you that you've outgrown your old version. You've outgrown the old version of yourself in order to live in a bigger one. This is good. There might be a moment when your ego, okay, when your ego um, feels a bit 
dented but sure enough that too will pass this oracle comes in for you guys to let you know that there is guidance or additional guidance like i said your ancestors are guiding you you are watched over by life and held in protection here virgo whatever has been bothering you will not be able to harm you you will prevail if you are concerned that something is getting get something or someone is getting away with something okay or blocking your path and it seems there is nothing you can do about it don't worry the all-seeing eye of life per perceives everything with uh, without exception it is a universal mother with eyes not only in the back of her head they're talking about this crone here okay not only in the back of her head but in every living cell of life itself she misses nothing here okay karma misses nothing either okay and the truth of her vision will always be met with justice mercy and wisdom okay you're being asked here virgo to shift your perspective please do and look at an issue of concern a little differently if you don't know how to do this simply at the uh this I call upon the universal eye to show me the most helpful way to see the situation of concern now and shifting how you look at things the energy and what is beheld changes you can see this with people um when you shame and not just someone they react differently to when you are loved and encouraged they may uh, succeed nonetheless, uh, nonetheless but the journey to that success will be different so they're wanting you to um look at something through the eyes of love rather than fear mm -hmm. <laughs> this can help you find your way more quickly and enjoyably here okay which you definitely will here that's what i'm feeling okay so i'm definitely feeling like your energy is starting off this week very good um it feels very promising here especially with spirit coming in with the sun card letting you know that there will be new opportunities uh beautiful ones exciting ones coming into your life uh you guys may have brilliant new ideas that lead to uh towards success here follow that that is a message from your spirit guides here from the divine from the universe wanting to guide you here tap into your higher self and tap into your intuition follow your intuition listen to it here okay and don't be afraid to let go of things that uh no longer serve you here okay that is your reading Virgo thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading I do appreciate it if you got a message from this reading make sure you give this video a thumbs up so this video can be shared here on YouTube with all of the other Virgos make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell so you know when I come back with another reading and take care of yourself bye